Hey guys, welcome to this Fitness. I'm Head Coach Grant. Today what we're going to do is an ab workout using our exercise balls. We all have one lying around at home or in the garage, so let me just go through a few exercises, do them really, really strictly with you and you'll really feel it hitting those abs and core muscles. So if you want to come with me, grab your ball and we'll get started. Okay guys, first exercise you're going to do is going to be a Swiss ball crunch. So I'm just going to take a seat here and talk you through it. Now when you're on the ball, Make sure you get the right size of ball. What you should have is one that when you sit on it, you still maintain a right angle between hamstrings and calves, okay? If you're too high up on it, that ball is probably too big for you. What we're gonna do, take a seat here. Always keep the core in control and keep the, the abs nice and tight throughout. We're gonna roll forward and lower ourselves back. So, if you take a look, the bum should still be on the ball. Okay, you're not hanging off it like this. There's a bum on the ball, lower yourself back. Now what I want you to do here, tighten up the quads, squeezing the glutes, pushing towards the ceiling. We're gonna take our arms across in an X position like so. Keep our eyes up to the towards the ceiling and we're gonna crunch up and down nice and slow. So we breathe out as we crunch up. Keep those glutes fired, keep those quads nice and tight. If you're doing it correctly, you won't really get too much in the way of motion. We only go up about six inches, and your abs should really feel it burning right in there. Breathe out as you crunch up, breathe in on the way back down. Try not to roll too far forward and bounce up like so. The key to this one is keeping the feet underneath the knees. Keeping the bum in the right position, should be just at the end of the ball. Crunch up to there. And remember, we go up nice and slow, hold, and then come down nice and slow. That will really hit those abs hard. Okay, that's our first exercise. We're going to do that 15 repetitions, and then we're going to move on to the next one. Okay, guys, next exercise we're going to do is rotating crunches on the ball. So we get in a similar position. We roll ourselves out like so. Make sure the feet alignment is good. Feet shoulder width apart, heels in line with toes. Draw on the glutes. Keep those quads nice and tight. Get the abs switched on. Fingertips in the side of the head. And what we're going to do is rotate up and bring it back down. Breathing out as we come up. One on each side counts as one rep. Really feel that burning those abs if you're doing these correctly. Again, it's all about the positioning on the ball. We get in the right ball, make sure our butt is in the right position, and we got those core muscles switched on at all times. Slow and controlled, like so. Okay, now remember, guys, when you're on it, don't roll out too much and switch off your glutes and your quads and rotate up like this. Anybody can do that and that just disengages the abs. It's all about keeping them switches on at all times and really crunching up and feeling every repetition as you did it. Again, we're going to do 15 of those. One on each side, counts as one rep. By the end of the 15, you're really going to feel that burn. Okay guys, next exercise we're going to do, we're going to lie flat on the ground. So if you've got a mat, let's use that, or you can do it in the carpet, whatever suits you. What we're going to do, give ourselves plenty of space. We're going to stretch out, taking the ball in the hand above the head. And we're going to keep the ball just slightly off the ground and our feet just slightly off the ground. And we're going to crunch up, place the ball in between the feet, bring the fingertips to the side of the head, lower it down without touching, and crunch back up. Take the ball, bring it down. Breathe out as you crunch up, as always. This will really challenge your core. I really hit those abs. Okay guys, we're going to do 15 of those. By the time you get those three exercises done, 15 of each, 
I want you to take maybe 30 seconds to a minute breather, go back to the start and repeat them all again. So I want you to do three sets of 15 reps in total of everything and perform it as a circuit. And by the end of that, you're really gonna feel those abs working hard, okay?